So they replace a uh, injector cup, injector cup. Oh yeah. Okay, and how about the injector itself? Uh, issue is. Um, What's the issue? The parking cooler. And until when is my warranty for that? I don't know. You don't know. And how about my parking cooler? Uh, is it still warranted, right? The Bergstrom system is not warranted. Which one? bahay. So, yon ah uh, papunta ako ngayon sa Volvo. Ilang araw na akong off two days. Then yung truck ko hindi pa rin tapos. Then yun nga, nagpa-change oil lang sana ako. Pero nung pina-check ko kasi mayroon akong nararamdaman do sa truck na long cranking. Then may something different sounds. So, yon uh, at uh, big nag-email sila sa akin na estimated na kung magano magagastos. So, yun na uh, medyo nagulat lang. Then pupunta lang ako doon kasi kailangan ko silang uh, uh, kailangan ko ma-confirm kung ano yung mga kailangan gawin. So, yun nga ang uh, nakita nilang isa is yung injector and yung uh, sa kulat niya na uh, sabi niya doon is push over to surcharge surge tank na sinasabi nila. So, wala akong idea doon kung ano yung sinasabi nila so punta ako ngayon ng Volvo ko confirm ko lang then yun sa pati yung ibang mga kailangan pang gawin is gagawin na rin nila so may order na silang parts na kailangan ipalit doon so 2 to 3 days simula ngayon so ang araw ngayon is naka 2 days na akong off so wala ganun talaga pagka owner operator so maraming kailangan gawin so hindi man natin pwedeng pabayaan na ganun ganun lang yung uh, unit natin na may nararamdaman tayo tapos sige lang tayo ng sige ng biyahe so nandun din naman ang, ang, ano, ang uh, buhay ng income natin sa truck so yun uh, puntahan ko lang then malaman ko kung anong mga mga gagawin nila makonfirm then wala napakamahal talaga nung ano nung uh, estimated nila so yon na surprise lang at na shock kung ano talaga so sana magawang panamparan pero yung estimated estimated pa lang yon for pero sana hindi na lumaki so yun lang sa manyo ko ta tingnan natin so papunta na kami ng Volvo so si Mrs. Aya hatid ko lang muna sa work niya may workshop part time sa McDonald Then, kami na lang ang aking uh, bunso Kasi yung isa may pasok So, that is duty muna Weekdays And Walang biyahe Bunso, saan tayo pupunta bunso? Saan pupunta baby? Saan tayo pupunta? To the mall To the mall? What do you say to them? What you gonna say? Thank you. Thank you. Say hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to my vlog. Say please. Please. Like. Like. Share. Share. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Kawaii.
Get a lip balm. Yeah, that's a lip balm. For your lips? How are you? Good. Yeah, um... Uh, they just emailed me about my truck yesterday. Okay. About those uh, problems. I just want to confirm. What were the problems? Uh, they said they uh, need to replace injectors. Uh, oh, did we not do that? What's your truck number again, Ryan? Uh, 32660. Okay, so we did an oil change. That's a good thing. Yeah. I just dropped it my truck for the PMS for that oil change and uh, uh, what else and uh, yeah oil change so and then diagnose engine for long cranking yeah long cranking and the long cranking is the fuel pressure test failed uh -huh. uh, and would be replacing for the injector six pack okay I can see that. Injector six pack. Yeah. So the cups and injectors. So they replace a uh, injector cup, injector cup. Oh yeah. Okay. And how about the injector itself? Um, is your truck no longer under warranty? The issue is. Um, What's the issue? The parking cooler. Yeah. It says it's failed. Yeah, that's what they told me also. So just to confirm to the injector. Please proceed with injectors and we'll worry about the parking cooler another day. Yeah, that's what they told me. Okay. Yeah. That sounds fine. Someone's working on the injectors now. No. So they just replaced the whole injectors, eh? Uh huh. But, but why they replace the injectors? It means... Well, because three are pumping mm -hmm. and three, the other three ride on the common ground. So what was it? Your system needs, needs all six. Uh, so the, 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 the ceiling surface is failed. Mm -hmm. So the pressure is no longer holding at the injectors. So you replace all six. All six injectors. Also injector cup. Oh. Yeah, because uh, I was thinking uh, why they replace the injectors. It's, there's no uh, like... The, the injectors no longer hold the pressure. Oh, just not holding the pressure, eh? Oh, okay. Maybe that's why it cost me uh, too much on fuel? Probably. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. running properly, so it could be mm -hmm. overfueling, or it could be undercompensating, or working, it's working. You can just eat. So they're gonna replace all, eh? And until when is my warranty for that? I don't know. You don't know? And how about my parking cooler? Uh, is it still warranted, right? The Bergstrom system is not warranted. Which one? The parking cooler. Uh -huh. The Bergstrom. That's the product. That's the name of the product. Uh -huh. It is no longer under warranty. How come? Well, it expired. It's different than the AC warranty you have. Mm -hmm. And how much it is? Uh, it would be $13,000. Oh, my goodness. We're going to look because now you're confusing me. Yeah, even me. <laughs> 13000 the whole unit. Okay. 13000 is just the price of the parts. Oh. Okay, your truck VIN 202 664. Yeah. You have so something very strange going on. Can you wait here a moment? Yeah, sure. Okay. I go that ako. 13,000 yung.
So, nakikita nyo rito yung yung labor rate nila. 172.50 per hour. So, napakamahal ng labor ng ng pag nagpapagawa ka ng truck. So, hindi ko alam kung anong mayayari doon sa akin isang pinagagawa pa. Well, let's get all the facts and all the stories straight. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was discussed yesterday with the other Chris. Your Bergstrom is under warranty and retested after that. Mm -hmm. The parking cooler is on back order, so I'll have to find out how long that takes. Parts does not have an ETA right now. Okay. So, okay. what kind of parts is that? Well, it's going to be the actual parking cooler assembly. Where it does all the cooling at the back of the cab. It's on the back of my cab? Yeah. It's not only the auxiliary? No? Well, I don't think it's called an auxiliary. It's called a parking cooler. Uh, no, know exactly what kind of... It's called a Bergstrom. Sorry? Bergstrom. Berg? Yes. Like when you look at the back of your cab, mm -hmm. you have some four batteries under yeah, the yeah. catwalk. Yeah. Okay. That part of the system that runs your yeah, AC, mm -hmm. that module is getting replaced. Oh, and the one underneath? Yes. Oh. Not that much. I mean, maybe to the unit or... So they're going to take it off everything, eh? I don't know how long it's going to take to get one here. The parts. So no ETA yet. So working on injectors, mm -hmm. working on an ETA for the cooling package, and the oil change is done. Oil change is done. And they just need to diagnose about the coolant, eh? And why is the coolant pushing over? I think they should have waited to do that until they were done the injectors. Okay. It's not okay. going through uh, my EGR cooler? No, eh? No. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, ayan, papunta na kami ulit sa Volvo. Kukunin ka na yung truck. So, natapos na. So, yun, malaman kung ano yung mga lahat-lahat na ginawa. And, yun, umuulan dito sa Winnipeg. So, katatawag lang nila kanina. And, ready for pickup na. So, yun, kukunin na namin sa Volvo. Punta na kami sa Volvo at para makabiyay na rin. Uh, masyado mahaba ang uh, tenga natin kasi ang daming ginawa doon sa truck so yun, update so narito na ulit ako sa Volvo kukunin ko na yung aking truck nandiyan sa saya hello I'm picking up my truck 32660 yun Everything is done. Yes, it's good to go. What's wrong today, coolant? Yes. You cleared the needle yesterday, right? It's good to go? Yeah, last night, yeah. Okay, so service, inspection, check and port for long crank, your injectors are failing, AC bunk park failed, park cooler was failed. Mm -hmm. Coolant pushed over to the other side. No fault found. Found okay and no. They coolant. didn't see anything. Remove EGR and go and look inside. Found okay. No coolant leaking. Performed EGR gas recirculation test. Okay. Check software updates. Okay. EMS needed to be updated. So they updated EMS. EMS. The. <laughs> it's a computer. Oh, the computer. Okay. Yeah. Performed EGR system analysis test. Okay, everything. So they okay. removed the whole EGR cooler. Sorry. They removed the whole EGR cooler. No, there is a test that they did for the EGR system analysis. Uh huh. Fine. Okay. So 
probably so there's because no of the injectors the for the thing. coolant why it's uh, pushing, pushing through, through. Yeah. pressurizing and it was pressurizing and then pushing but everything is fine now yes they did a road test on it yesterday uh -huh. fine no problems and how about the parts for my parking cooler is there any update for the ata for your for the parts cooler? yeah they said they ordered the parts and they haven't told me about the ETA for the parts when it's gonna be here what kind of parts? I'm not sure okay. I think the parking cooler is here that was on the 13th so yesterday they got the parking cooler and it's installed and good to go. Oh, did they just replace it already? Yes, the parking cooler has been replaced. You know how much is the parking cooler? No. $13,000. They replaced the whole thing? Yes. Thirteen. Your yeah, total repair, you know how much? Mm -hmm. Almost $25,000 worth of repair. But the everything is... We are just paying a small amount, not a heavy. So don't worry about it. <laughs> not keeping here. So almost twenty-five thousand dollar worth of repairs have been done to your truck for all the repairs. Yes, you are paying eight fifty-seven only. Eight hundred fifty-seven, and that includes your service. Oh, you make me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so everything is charged on my account. You want it on the account? Okay, yeah. You can do that. Yes. And they, they tested it, the, uh, my parking cooler already, or yes, I should tested test operation, no problem. Yes, I know he did, okay. but he also told me, told you that he doesn't. Oh, shit. Where's uh, my key? You need the key, right? Yeah. Yeah, I need the signature here, please. Oh, good? Yeah. Where is that estimated amount here for the parts? You won't see that. Oh, there, 13,000. You'll see them as zeros. Oh, okay. Because you're not paying anything for that. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, not. Kukuni ko na intra ko, nagawa pala lahat. So, pinalitan na yung lahat ng mga kailangan palitan. So, yun, uh, yung mga ginawa. Umabot lahat-lahat ng almost 25,000 Pero yun nga Dahil warranty pa yung mga ginawa Binayaran ko lang si 800 something Kasi yung ano lang Binayaran ko lang yung mga oil change at saka greasing So tsaka ito Bumuha ko na rin akong dalawang spare na jug ng oil Pang emergency So yun at, uh, Sana wala nang maging sira Tuloy-tuloy na ito Pero do double check ko muna lahat Ayan, meron tayong uh, deer bumper So, silipin natin lahat ng mga Tingnan natin kung uh, O, oh, tama ang oil Eh, yung coolant Kasi chinek din nila yung coolant So, yun, kulang cool Kailangan natin sabihin sa kanila So, binuksan nila lahat yan Injector, so yung parts na pinalitan so yun kailangan sabihin natin sa kanila na kulang yung kulang kasi chinik nila yan eh binuksan nila lahat so yun yun lang okay na lahat nag greasing na len nag greasing so yun okay and then ah uh, Punta lang ako sa loob para humingi ng kulang kasi kulang eh. So yan, pa uwi na ako. Nakuha ko na itong truck. So yun nga, uh, nagawa na nila lahat. Uh, Na-double check ko na lahat din yung mga kailangan uh, yung mga kailangan i-check kasi yung mga pinalitan nila. So hindi naman natin ma-check yung mga pinalitan na injector kasi nasa loob siya ng makina. So at least yung pag-start niya hindi na siya ganun katag hard starting kasi yun nga pagka nanonotice ko na masyadong matagal yung 
cranking bago siya mag-start. So, buti yung parking cooler, buti naman at uh, nagawa na rin, lahat-lahat nagawa na. So, yun, biyahe na lang ang kulang. So, ganun na no, uh, pagka sarili mo ang truck, lahat ng mga obligasyon na, na nasa sayo, nasa isang owner operator, kasi nandyan lahat yung mga sira, maintenance, So although warranty naman yung mga pinagawa ko Pero ano pa rin ano, Medyo mabigat pa rin kasi hindi tayo makakabiyahe So malaking income yung nawawala kasi hindi tumatakbo yung truck Kasi yung iba yung sabi nila maganda ang kita ng owner operator Oo oh, maganda ang kita ng owner operator Pero dapat ipakita rin natin sa kapwa natin mga bumibiyahe ng truck uh, Nagbabalak mag owner operator Hindi lang yung puro kita Kailangan pati yung mga expenses kung magkano yung mga gastos at saka yung mga dapat na kailangan mong gawin yung sa pagpamamaintenance so hindi ganun kadali hindi ganun kadali ang maging isang owner operator maganda lang pakinggan kasi yun nga sarili mo yung truck ang iniisip talaga kasi ng iba magandang kinikita talaga ng owner operator maganda kung sa maganda pero yun nga pagka dumating yung time na magpapagawa ka may sira eh paano kung hindi warranty yung truck diba? yung, mga nasi, yung mga pinagawa So tayo kung saan tayo kukuha ng panggastos 25,000 napakalaking pera nun Hindi naman tayo kikita ng ganun kalaki Pagka kahit na bumibiyahe tayo Kasi naguhulog pa tayo ng truck Yan yeah, no at saka yung isa pa yun Tsaka pagka Sarili mo na yung truck Kailangan alam mo kung paano mo pakiramdaman yung Pag-andar, pagtakbo Kailangan pakiramdaman mo lahat ultimo isang ingay lang or meron kang naramdaman na kakaiba talaga agad sa unit mo kailangan idali mo agad sa, sa shop o sa gawaan para magawa lahat ng mga kailangan gawin so huwag na nating paabutin na kung kailang tsaka tayo masiraan sa danis napakamahal lang towing etong truck ko oh, ilan na natakbo 600 almost 700,000 na so medyo masalimut na yung mga ano ng uh, maintenance nya kasi pag taas ng kilometer pag dami ng mga maintenance nya at saka yung mga sira maglalabasan, maglalabasan ng mga sira so kagandahan nga lang kasi 5 years yung warranty natin yung warranty ng truck ko so yan o no? at uh, sana may konting tip tayong na share uh, at sana nakatulong tayo na pagka meron ng idea about sa pag-owner operator so yun no, pagka mag-owner operator kayo, paalala lang uh, pag-aralan nyo mabuti kung kaya ba ng loob nyo na gartong obligasyon na magpapagawa kayo na merong time na pagkabayad na yung truck nyo pagka hindi na warranty ang truck nyo is worth it ba na mag-owner operator na ganito ang gagasusin mo So yun, uh, kailangan pag-isipan at pag-aralan ng mabuti Lalo na ngayon kasi napakamahal ng truck Compare noon na mura ang truck Ngayon sobrang mahal na po ng truck So wag, wag sana tayo maging aggressive na kumuha agad ng truck O maging owner operator kasi dahil lang sa mga naririnig at nakikita na oh, bakit si ganito owner operator kumikita ng garto so oo oh, oh, sabihin natin kumikita ng maganda yung mga nauna ang tanong doon magkano naman yung truck nung nakuha di ba? mura pa noon ngayon napakamahal na at tapos napakamahal din ng fuel ngayon hindi, hindi pa nagbabago yung uh, yung fuel na presyo, halos ganun pa rin, napakamahal lalo sa US kasi sa US per gallon although binibigyan naman na ang mga owner of predator ng subsidy pero yung dagdag na yung increase sa subsidy, halos dun din lang nabupunta sa fuel so yung rate yung pinaka base rate, hindi pa rin tumataas so kahit mag percentage ka kahit mag per miles ka o kahit mag per trip ka pare parehas lang yan kasi kung ang isa dyan ay mas maganda Sana lahat Per miles, lahat percentage, lahat per trip Pare-parehas lang po yan Pinag-aralan po yan ng kumpanya Pinag-aralan nyo ng bawat uh, Tracking company Kung paano nila babayaran ang mga Ang mga owner operator So hindi po yan Palakihan Porque tayo sa isang kumpanya Maganda, maganda ang 
kaligayan, malaki ang income. Pare-parehas lang po 'yan. Ang pag-owner operator is nasa sa, nasa sa owner operator kung paano ka gumastos at kung paano ka gumawa ng kita. 'Yun lang po 'yan. So pagka lagi kang bili mo, bili ka dito, bili ka diyan, bili ka doon. Wala, walang mangyayari. Although pera na pera naman nila, 'di ba, na owner operator. So choice nila 'yan. So yan, maraming maraming salamat at uh, magkita-kita na lang tayo sa biyahe at pasensya na kayo at ngayon lang ako ulit nakapag-upload kasi uh, masyado akong busy may mga ginagawa ko uh, minsan sa bahay minsan sa sasakyan so all around minsan bata, nag-aalaga ako ng anak ko so yun, so maraming maraming salamat ingat-ingat po lagi sa biyahe and uh, maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumusuporta at nagsusubaybay sa atin dito sa ating uh, ginagawang pagbablog at pagsishare ng mga konting tips kahit na medyo lagi tayong uh, late mag-upload so maraming maraming salamat pa rin at sana dumami pa ating subscriber and then shout out sa lahat shout out kay Pinoy Tracker shout out sa lahat ng mga ng mga truck driver worldwide sa Saudi sa Pilipinas sa Europe especially dito sa Canada at sa US So shout out sa inyo lahat So maraming maraming salamat Keep safe, ride safe Keep safe and keep on trucking